So when you uh, usually begin to start your woodworking project, you usually begin by going over to the wood rack and you usually start by picking up a piece of pine, some alder, maybe some purple heart. But regardless of what kind of uh, rough cut lumber you're choosing to pick, it's important to know that most rough cut lumber is sold by the board foot. So in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, how do we actually calculate and figure out the board foot of a particular project. So when you go to the lumber yard, you might see that wood is sold in these weird fractions like 4-4, 6-4, 12-4, 8-4, etc. And so these improper fractions are describing the particular thickness of wood. The 4 is quarter inches. So if you're trying to figure out the thickness of a 4-4 piece of wood, just simply divide the top number by the bottom number. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. So 4-4 four, four lumber is one inch thick. 6-4 lumber or 6 quarters lumber is essentially one and two quarters or one and a half inch thick. So now that we talked about the thickness of rough cut lumber and how it's usually discussed, let's talk about board foot. So the board foot is actually a unit of volume. So when we're thinking of volume, we're talking about like the amount of fluid in say a liter or a cup. Those are all units of volume. And so since we're talking about volume, volume would include thickness of the piece of wood, it would include and account for the length of the piece of wood, and it would also include or account for the width of the piece of wood. So if we were to take a look at these two different pieces of wood, although they are very clearly different sizes and they actually have a very different surface area, they actually have the same volume. They are both one board foot. Another way to think about it is that both of these pieces, despite the fact that they're different sizes, they are both 144 cubic inches. Now, although board feet is used to measure the volume of wood, board feet is still a volume measurement. So there's no reason why we couldn't use board feet to measure fluid. So to help you visualize here, is one board foot of pink fluid. And as a useless piece of information that you will never need to know in real life, a board foot comes to about 2.3 liters of fluid. So next time you're at the grocery store, try and ask for a board foot of milk. And so yes, even this is one board foot. So now that we know what a board foot is, let's talk about calculating board foot. So right over here, is the formula to calculating board feet. So what you would need to do is you would take the length in inches and multiply that by the width in inches and multiply that by the thickness in inches. Multiply all three of those and divide it by 144. Remember, a board foot is 144 cubic inches. So that's why that 144 is down on the bottom. Whatever number you get out is the board foot. Now it's important to remember that when you see the quotation mark or the double apostrophe, it means we're talking about inches. So this formula is in inches. If you see the apostrophe, that actually means feet, which means you can not actually just write the number of feet into this formula. You'll need to convert it into inches first. There are 12 inches in one foot. All right, so let's uh, try to calculate board feet together. All right, so to begin, here is our first problem. How many board feet is this piece of alder? And so I've got this piece of wood right down here. So I'm just gonna start by writing the formula down. So the formula for board feet is length in inches times width in inches times thickness in inches and you divide it by 144. So I will start by plugging in the numbers. So we're gonna look for the length in inches and that's over here, but we've got a little bit of a problem. This is four feet, it's not in inches. So I actually have to convert four feet into inches first. So if one foot is 12 inches, four feet 
is 48 inches. So I'll just take my 48 inches, put that here. Now I need to put the width in, so that's 10 inches wide. And now I add my thickness, so that's one and a half or 1.5 inches. And you divide that all by 144. So 48 times 10 times 1.5 is 720. Now I'm gonna go ahead and divide that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and divide 720 by 144. And that gives me five. So this piece here is five board feet. So now that we know how many board feet this piece of alder is, let's figure out how much it costs. Now, lumber sometimes is sold in board feet, and so in this case, the alder is $3.91 per board feet, and so I need to figure out how much this costs. So what I would do is I would just simply take the cost and multiply it by the board feet. So in this case, the cost is $3.91, and the board feet of the alder is, there's five board feet in this piece here, so that's five, and we just simply multiply these two numbers together. So, $3.91 times five is $19.55. This piece of alder is $19.55.